My brothers used to swim when I was younger, and I used to like see them at practice. My parents would take me, and they had caps on. And for some reason, when I was like two years old, I thought if I put a cap on, I would know how to swim. When you grew up, uh, it's it's nice to have a, a well routine, discipline, and how you time yourself. Be, you know, besides school, study hard, also optimize your physical aspect and swimming hard and be in good shape. I grew up like literally underwater, you know, but it's just like hanging out, you know, like especially summertime when school is out, you get your chores done and you are laying out all day. You're fishing, you're catching fish, you're cooking. On the river, we do all this on the beach. From basic school to primary school to high school, you know, like all of that, it's, uh, you know, it's it's good for them, you know, and um, they're, they have cousins there, they have, they've met friends, good friends there. By mid-middle school, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm pretty decent and I could see this going somewhere and I didn't want to like give up and quit, so I just decided I'm going to work for it <laughs> and go swim in college. Sea game, probably, it's a... Uh... It's another story itself. One day, uh, my two daughters texted me. There's a Cambodian girl swimming in Cambodia for the sea game. I said, what? And then it is about a uh, Southeast Asian uh, game, which involved 12 countries. And then uh, they compete within the Southeast Asian game. Um, and the first Cambodian female was uh, from Indianapolis and she posed and then my daughter saw that it's like, wow, how can that be? And she's only half American, just like us. I said, well, because they probably know somebody. I got introduced to the lady. Oh, by the, by the way, my name is such and such. My daughter went to Cambodia and Cambodia. I said, oh, great. And then we get talking and then she mentioned, year 2023 is the biggest year for Cambodia because it's the first time that Cambodia as a country will uh, will host the sea game throughout the whole history because as a country we're not rich enough to host the big event but t year 2023 they decide to throw it all in they're gonna host this thing they want to kind of show the uh, the the rest of the Southeast Asian like we are also good in swimming so they try to recruit a lot of athletes and they said it's even half Cambodian we now we allow them to come back and swim so the lady talked to me, she said, by the way, I know your two girls. I know through social media, their times are better than my daughter. Please come and swim for Cambodia. I said, well, uh, I don't mind, but I say, but up to my two girls. They asked me if I wanted to do it. And I was like, okay. And obviously another sibling rivalry thing. I was like, okay, well, my sister's doing it, so I want to do it too. But I was really excited and they asked when they asked me. And so I was like, yeah, I'll go. The Cambodian people, they welcomed the girls. It was amazing to see. Um, it was very exciting. The culture, um, how friendly everyone was and accepting, no matter who you were. They, were, they were so kind and I felt so welcome. Like I almost considered them like family. I was pretty sad leaving. It was kind of like culture shock once the game started. Like all these like athletes from around the world, literally Olympians, like you see the tattoo next to you. So it was like a lot at first. It was, it was pretty emotional. Like we've been together for 18 years, inseparable, like best friends. But yeah, it was pretty emotional for me. <laughs> it being my last meet was like also like kind of sentimental because like it was the last time I've ever swimming with my sister. But I think one of the like biggest takeaways was just like being proud of being associated with another culture. We're very competitive and obviously she did all four years in college and I was like, I'm not going to let her do all four years in college and I'm going to go and not do that. So, And we were constantly like racing. I mean, we do different events, but whenever our coaches put us together in an event, it was always just like a who's going to win. From my parents' background, like they grew up with like very tough lives and it helped me learn a lot about my dad's culture. Um, we went to a lot of temples and like we got to spoke to a lot of people. Life is not easy. You know, um, America has been good to us. We are living the American dream. And if we can do it, so can you.
you kind of like grow up here forgetting like how much you have always like complaining about the littlest things and you don't realize how fortunate you are until you go to other countries. I really look up to my dad because of that because he worked so hard and made me really appreciate the things that I have.